Hey guys, so it's been a while since I've made a video because it was winter here and it gets pretty cold and my workshop is upstairs and also I'm not a cold kind of guy. It wasn't that cold for a bunch of you I'm sure but for me anything below 6-7 degrees sucks. Anyway, spring is here which is lovely. Can you see spring? Uh, let me take you out here. And nice blue sky, everything's green and I'm back in my wood shop which feels great. I love it. It's uh, nice to be back here. So I thought I'd start making some videos again. Uh, frankly, I've been pretty busy with my other YouTube channel as well, which has nothing to do with woodworking. It's like tech and stuff. And um, I'm pretty excited to be back in this room. So I thought today I'd make a quick video about a dust collector, like a cyclone. In my country, you can't really get shop vacs much, let alone a cyclone or a dust collector. It's really hard to find a shop vac. But a dust collector, I don't think uh, it's available anywhere because I checked. So you know what I did? I got a little inventive, a little innovative. So I took a regular vacuum cleaner, which is a household vacuum cleaner. This is a 1600 watt. And what I did was I got some uh, regular pipes. These are like those water pipes. Bought a bunch of those and I made a dust collector. Check this out. So this thing costs like under five bucks, uh, mostly because I already own this. This is just a bucket. You see this? It's just a bucket and look at works that's got uh, sawdust. So the only cost is these pipes and these pipes. This, this elbow, you gotta have two of these, one's up here, one's down here and I used a glue gun to attach it. And same here, this is just one long PVC type of pipe. For, these are like uh, kind of water plumbing pipes, they're hard. This is plywood, I cut it with a jigsaw, I made a round thing, and I just put it on top of here. So I have one that goes straight up, which connects to my vacuum, and one that is on this side, and it connects to my table saw. Or it can connect to whatever thing you'd want to use. So the interesting thing is that this thing works pretty well. And uh, what's funny is, sometimes I don't even clamp it. You know, you'd think it, you think that you'd need an airtight kind of clamp here so there's no gaps. But frankly, when the vacuum is on, it sucks it down so hard that it just works. And what you have to really make sure of is that this thing has to be at an angle. So it falls down, hitting the side of this bucket. So, and then it just spins itself through the air. So it doesn't even have to be like that cyclone shape, the cyclone shape. Uh, this just works as well. Yes, albeit I'll have to admit that this thing may not work 100% like a branded one that you'd buy. But this works pretty damn good. Uh, I would say it's 80% there, maybe 90%. And if you're really good, if you're a good craftsman, if you spend some time doing this, because I didn't spend much time, you could make it a very accurate 100% working cyclone. So it's really cool. Let me just quickly show you something. Let me turn it on. Okay, let's put this in. There we go. And look, if I pick it up, it sticks. I can't even it's sticking. So I don't know if you guys understood that, but normally if I pick this up, this will come off the lid. But when the vacuum was on, the whole thing came up because the suction pressed into it so so hard. And that's why uh, in the beginning, I used to use clamps. Let me show you, like I would use these, I'd use three or four of these. All you do is you just clamp it like that and make it tight. You do one here, one here, one here. But frankly, I don't even use that anymore. I just go for it. A lot of you guys are gonna say that's pretty dumb. You need to make it airtight. You need to really have that section good, but it just works and uh, that's good enough for me if something works. So my wood shop has a, a cyclone dust collector now, thank God. As you know, my wood shop is kind of in my house. It's right in the center of my house with a, a window on one side, that's good. So I have to really be careful. Whenever I use it, I quickly dust up, I clear the place, and I have to be careful that way. Anyways, that was my quick video. I hope you liked it. Um, I'm gonna start posting more. So stay tuned, subscribe, like the video if you like it. 
Till our next one, take care, bye.